And as before, the, both the yachts are now coming back onto the pontoon for their starting positions. We've got uh, one of the Wyeth Sons starting from the windward mark, who is the yellow mark there in your picture. And to leeward, we have David Bell with the red boy singling his position on the bank to actually start his race and what they will be doing now they will be looking at the lake ahead of them as I mentioned Tom Baker he's one of the Time Lords he was able to see into the future and that is what they are doing today down at Fleetwood Boating Lake they are predicting what's likely to happen in the next 10-15 minutes on the boating lake the windward boat is just heading up into irons to see what the tax present for him at the moment David Bell is just adjusting his vein gear for optimum performance the look of concentration is immense we're waiting for the starter to start the race he's now asking if the, the ready and I, oh, oh I'm gonna say I thought we were off then perhaps not and here we go we're off here the whistle we're just waiting we are just waiting ladies and gentlemen just waiting for pressure in the rig of the sails until everybody's happy that is when the race officer will start the race there we go we're off we're off nice launch from the windward boat there nice boat David Bell's boat is pointing very well and he's just had a header which means it's gonna to have to sail off the winter pickle speed and we are off the red boat is now sailing very very close to the eye of the wind until it picks up its uh, its its actual waterline boat speed and so far everything is good because both boats are now clear we are now sailing free now what we have to think about now is that your your boat is in the, the lap of the gods so if you get a wind shift it's really out of your hands now the windward boat is now sat in irons it's had a header it's now going to have to bear away to some degree and it's ended up on the port tack now starboard tack because it's changed again and we're now back on the port tack and it's heading off towards the north bank which is not ideal it's really not ideal this could be a failure ladies and gentlemen this really could be not a good race at all and meanwhile we have boat number 79 which is now one third of the way down Fleetwood Boating Lake sailing close hauled very close to the wind and as you can see it is now going to migrate through a flock of seagulls it's now lifting ah, a header that is what's called a header ladies and gentlemen it's now going to bear away automatically pick up the wind once again and migrate onto its full waterline speed to produce maximum for forward thrust to windwards now looking behind us guys boat number i think it's 88 the red one it's just banked on the the north side of the the boating lake he could have a bit of difficulty getting off this side of the lake the wind is fluky it's all over the place on this sheltered side of the bank while david bell is i predict he's probably going to come in and he's going to have to do two of uh, one of two things he will have to possibly do a pole off or indeed do a guide now while I've been talking about that David Bell boat number 79 his boat was lifted so it's less likely he's now going to do that he is now staring at his boat his mother's there to offer him some support because the pressure is on they're now getting into a little bit of a stride as the boat picks up speed that's it he's still staring at his boat this is what it's all about guys it's all maximum concentration from David Bell and his mum he's brought his mum along because he likes his mum quite a lot and uh, they've all been avid sailors for the last like 40 years he's got a nice lift on his boat there he's got a nice lift boat 79 will he make it in one go I think he could do he really could do the boat's accelerating it's accelerating the boat behind is it's literally half a boating lake ahead at the minute is number 79 over his opponents the finish line is imminent Dave's now gone into a sprint he's running this guys he's running he's running he's excited uh, it's, it's, it's a win it's, it's going to be a win it's all over it's all over now ladies and gentlemen number 79 is clear ahead over the line and that's a good win for David Bell and his opponent is unfortunately still stuck on the, the north side of Fleetwood Boating Lake and the sheltered banks where it's really fluky and very difficult to get away from and that is a good win for Team Bell so well done David very good race sail the boat didn't bank which it meant uh, the boat could keep its boat speed all the way through the, the course of the race without any distractions or being stopped and that was a very well sailed race well done David Bell Okay, we're now looking at uh, the second group of yachts just coming up now. I can't quite tell who they are. So I'm just going to make my way back down the boating lake. I can see that the boating lure is blue. 
I'm looking at skippers on the bank. That could be looking at uh, the person striding down the lake. I think that might be Chris Harris. And the boat to windward of him. I will come to you with those details in a moment or two. In fact, no, actually, the boat actually to leeward. That is uh, the father of Wyeth's. That is uh, Sean Wyeth from Gosport Sailing Club. Now this is Team Red Bull guys, if uh, F1 are doing sailing, this is the Wyeth family, turn up with three boats, um, all carbon. And here we go, this is it guys, now is, uh, is, the, is the boat going to bank? Now we've got Team Roberts to windward with their air class boat with nicely, nice Bentley coloured green colour. I do like the colours, it's a beautiful boat from Birkenhead Sailing Club and uh, they're both good positions on the boating lake so it looks like uh, Sean Wyeth will have something to do he's now going to be staring at his boat, he's going to be conscious of the crabbers on the opposite side of the boating lake and I think what's he going to do? Is he going to put a guy on the boat? Is he going to pole it off? I think he's going to put a guy on guys, so he's going to have to technically stop the boat, bring it to a halt make the adjustment and then send it away on the opposite tack. So we go, we're back pedalling, back walking there. We've just stepped into a bucket, stopping the boat. And he's putting on to the opposite tack now, he's just cleared his fin. And he's now on a port tack. He's got a guy on. Now what happens with the guy? It's a mechanism within the vane sailing gear which puts tension on it. When you basically get a header of wind, or if the, the, the wind decreases, it will flip the vane gear onto the, to the tack with the most advantage, which is what he's done there. He's still ahead of Team Roberts. Boat number 32, that's Team Roberts from Birkenhead. This is a close race. They're both in the gusting winds there. They're both sailing their waterline. Uh, performance speeds of both boats and this could be a close call this could be a very close race indeed this is it the, the, the line is imminent there's roars and screaming and shouting from the spectators for, for this now over in eyes we've got a header 99 had a header as number 32 has they've both bird away and it's going to be a win for team Wyeth Sean Wyeth hits the, the finish line and that was a good race that was a good race and it is challenging conditions today at Fleetwood. Number 32, not far behind, but first one over the line, which is what counts, which is what matters. So uh, well done, Sean Wyeth, boat 99. Well done, that is uh, Sean, just back three points. And yet another good race at Fleetwood.